What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to talk about how to import categories, that's your purchasing categories, into Oracle Fusion Procurement. So let's get after it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a user, Bob Adams, and I'm going to add a couple of roles. The IT Security Manager, the Application Implementation Consultant, I'm going to add the Human Capital, I always add it. The integration specialist I'm gonna add this role that is critical is the product data steward all right and there we go we have a user okay so let's log out let's log in as Bob Adams and let's go over to purchasing categories we'll take a quick look we'll put in purchasing we'll see purchasing we'll take a look at one of them we'll see that you need a a name a code and a description and now we will head over to Google and we're going to search up where you find the template. So just search for Doc Oracle Fusion. Go to, looks like the first link. You want to be in the, um, the latest. So you go to Supply Chain 24C. Let's go to All Books. Let's go to Implementation. And let's go for FBDI. Go to HTML. All right now we're going, to, we're going to scroll down the page and we're looking for Catalog. Let's click on Catalog. And there is the file. So we're going to click on that and have it download. All right, next thing we got to do is we got to go find it and we got to right click it to unblock it. All right, so go to properties, unblock, and just you know, apply OK. OK, so let's go ahead and open that up and we're going to prep it. All right, so there's some base information that we got to place in it. I'm going to place it on the first line and then we'll copy it down afterwards. So that's your base information right there. And for the category information, the name, the code, and the description. I've got this file here with concatenated categories where I put the me because everything's about me in front of it so we can find it easily. I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna go over to the template and I'm gonna paste special, old habits die hard. Paste in the code. Now I'm not changing anything here in a real world situation you would obviously detail this out a little better than I'm doing here, but we're just trying to get the information in, right? All right, so we've got all the categories in, the description, the code, and the name. Now we've got to go take down and copy down all of the critical information. So we've got a batch number, create, and purchasing on the left-hand side. And now I'm not dragging that down. I'm going all the way down and just copying and pasting. I don't want anything to change. I don't want that batch number changing, okay? Let's go over to the right side, and here we only have two items. It's the date and the letter Y. Okay, let's move it over a little bit. Grab those two. Again, not dragging down, just copying, and then gonna paste. So nothing changes. Okay, let's paste that in there, and let's save it. All right, and let's go just have a review. We've got the catalog name the category code, you got the catalog code, stays the same, the description. Again, all these would be a bit different in a real world situation. And now just look, everything else is just blank. All right, catalog's all blank because we're not doing any of that. And we're gonna hit generate CSV and all this magic will happen once we hear, once we hit saves. I'm gonna just add the, the new suffix. Now it just does all its magic and a bunch of files are created and they're all zipped up into that zip file there. All right, and we are going to load that zip file to the file server. So let's go back to Oracle. Okay, we're gonna go to File Import and Export. We're gonna go first search to make sure I have anything out there, and I do. I'm gonna just take that one and delete it. Okay, you don't have to. I'm just, just that way. So I'm gonna delete that. We're going to start fresh. Okay. Now I'm going to go find the file, the zip file that we just created. Okay. Hit open. And now this is critical. You want to make sure you find the SCM item import. If you don't put it in here, you won't find it later. SCM item slash import. Hit save and close. So that's going to place it on the file server. The next step, I could go to monitor processes, got it saved there, but I'm gonna go and show you where it goes. Here's schedule processes. We're gonna kick off a new one again from the file server 
into the interface table. So we're going to load interface. Right. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to go find the import processes that is going to process the uh, categories. And that's called schedule catalog. Let's just go for sched search schedule catalog import job. That's going to take it from the file server and place it into the interface table. Now, if you put the files in the right place, you'll find it there. Hit submit. And now we'll do some refresh gymnastics, refresh on steroids. Now all of this is sped up. It doesn't take long at all, but naturally we don't want to sit here and watch it. So I sped it up. So some, some refresh on steroids. You want all those processes load filed interface to finish up successfully. And there you can see that it has. All right. So next process, schedule new process. And this is going to load from the interface table via APIs into Oracle. So schedule catalog and there it is. And we'll kick off that. And remember that batch ID that we put in the file, any batch ID, it just has to be the right one, right? So let's go open up. I mean, the right one being the same one, All right? So let's go over to the left and get that number that we made. I made that number up folks. You make it up, let's make it a big number. Okay. So let's get out of there. Minimize that. Let's place our batch number and don't touch anything else. That's it. Just hit submit. And now we're back to some more refresh gymnastics. And we just refresh this to death. Refresh on steroids. It takes a couple of minutes, but we're just looking to see that they all succeed. So that job has succeeded. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back where we started. Two categories. Okay. Go into categories, search for perch. There it is. And let's go find our imported categories. Remember, it's all about me. And if we go far enough down, there are all the me categories. All right. So that's it. You can see a category name, a code, description. All good. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps when you've got to load a whole bunch of categories and you need to make it happen fast, and you don't want to do it manually, this will do it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it.